Hello, everybody. Can you all hear me okay? Go ahead, drop something in the chat. I see people are doing good today. Perfect, perfect. Hello, everybody. I want to say welcome to the Association for Computing Machinery's Fall Open House. We are so thrilled to have you join our ACM family. This open house serves to give you an overview of ACM. Primarily, we want to show you who ACM is, some awesome opportunities that we have lined up for you, and how to get involved. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. First, our organizing team, including myself, would like to introduce ourselves to you. The people you're about to meet and more have been working hard all summer to bring you engaging, informative, and fun events this year. So don't be a stranger. Go ahead and say hi in the chat as well. If an officer comes up and they're the same major or the same study or you want to say hi to them, go ahead and say hi back. So without further ado, let's go ahead and meet them. My name is Janelle Mellison. I'm this year's ACM president, and I am a junior computer science major with a concentration in data science and a minor in math. Zachariah Holland. I am a senior computer science major, and I am this year's ACM vice president. I'm Christopher DeLeon, and I got my bachelor's at UTSA. I'm now doing research in computer science while pursuing my master's. And I am this year's treasurer for ACM. Hi, everyone. Thank you for coming to our open house. My name is Seth, and I'll be the ACM secretary for the upcoming year. I hope to see you all at our meeting soon. Take care. Hey, my name is Nicholas Ruiz. I also go by Nico. I am a fourth year computer science major concentrating in cloud and systems, and I am your technical officer this year. Hello, my name is Trey Nico. I am a senior computer science major here at UTSA, and uh, I am a public relations officer for this year. Hi, everybody. I'm Alex. I am a junior major in computer engineering and minoring in math. I am the projects officer for ACM this year. I look forward to seeing you guys at our meetings. Take care. Hi, I'm Elijah Moya, a junior computer science major and the current ACM membership officer. I am Ruud Andrade, a senior computer science major, and I am this year's ICPC director. Hi, my name is Tiffany. I'm currently a computer science major. I'm graduating this fall and I'm one of the directors for Code Quantum. Hi, my name is Aset. I am also a computer science major. I am graduating next fall and I am one of the directors for Code Quantum. Hello, my name is Renee. I am a psychology major, minor in business administration. I'm a senior and I'm on the design team. Hello, good afternoon, you all. My name is Joshua Lazaro. I'm the ACMW director. And I'm currently a junior at UTSA. I am studying statistics and data science with a concentration in biology and both minors in mathematics and Spanish. Hi everyone, my name is Isabella, but most people just call me Izzy. I'm a sophomore computer science major and the ACMW vice president. Hi, my name is Natalie Moskella. I am the ACMW secretary and I am a senior majoring in computer science. Hello, my name is Mira Espiritu. I'm ACMW's public relationist, and I'm a senior majoring in computer science. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Barrera. I am ACMW social media officer. I'm a junior with concentrations in creative and professional writing. All right, so now that you met us, it's your turn. Um, we want to meet you. So I saw some people already talking in the different chats. I see my residents from Chaparral Village. Thanks for coming out. And I also see that Jasmine introduced themselves. So go ahead in the chat, 
say hi, introduce yourself a little bit, but we also wanna get to know you on a little bit more of a formal level. So what we need you to do right now is take out your phone, scan that QR code on the left if you haven't already, and register to become a member. This is just a form that's going to ask you a bunch of questions like your t-shirt size so that we can send you a free shirt and your resume so that we can help you get that dream internship or job. And if you don't have all of that information ready now, that's okay. Be sure to just open it up in a new tab so that you can go back and complete it as soon as you can. But once you've done that, you can sign in to our open house, which is the QR code on the right. Our membership officer will tell you more about why signing in is so important, um, but I'll leave these up for a few more moments before we move on. All right, here's your last chance to scan those, and then we're gonna go to the next slide. So now that you're officially a part of our organization, it's important to keep up with all of our events and opportunities that we have. Our Discord server is the primary method of contact for us where you can socialize and then also get announcements on what's going on. You can join right now by going to discord.acmutsa.org. Additionally, we have YouTube and Twitch accounts where we stream our meetings, um, which you are all part of right now. And you can view our recordings on our YouTube channel. You can also get quick information from our social media accounts where our handle is ACMUTSA. And be sure to tag us in any pictures, photos, and you'll get reposted on our main um, social media platforms. So now that we are connected, it's time to tell you more about ACM. ACM is a professional organization that caters to anybody who's interested in tech. No matter your major or your level of experience, you are welcome in our community. Our organization will help you learn new topics through tech talks presented by professionals from various companies and organizations, such as this picture right here that shows a React workshop that we had last year. We will help you gain experience with projects and follow along tutorials as well. The PC that you see on the screen is something that we built as a club last year. So if you want that sort of hands-on experience to be able to learn a new skill, this is a place for you. ACM also has social events where you can get to know other students in tech. The social picture here is a backyard.co social that ACMW had, and it's just one example of the types of events we host. We also want you to network with the companies and professionals that we bring in to help you find a mentor, land that internship, or increase your connections. We also volunteer in our community. A great example of this is events where we go to elementary schools and middle schools, and we help those students learn technology and learn how to begin to code. And finally, we offer various events where you can show off your skills and compete. We have prizes that you can win by creating a project at a hackathon, which Ronnie's gonna talk about later, and as well as Tiffany and Lizette. And so we also have competition opportunities through ICPC, and Ruben will introduce you to that later. So now that I've introduced you to ACM, I'm gonna go ahead and let some of those officers that you met tell you a little bit more. So I'll hand it off to Elijah. Uh, thank you, Janelle. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Elijah, uh, and I'm going to kind of start this off by uh, giving a ginormous thank you to uh, Paycom, HEB, and Valero for sponsoring ACM this year. And uh, this allows us to host amazing events for y'all. And um, you can also expect our sponsors to host some fun events, uh, either in partnership with ACM ETSA or uh, individually as uh, their own company. Um, and to those who have filled out uh, the member reg registration form, you guys may have noticed uh, the resume field. Um, our sponsors are part of the reason we asked for that. Um, they're always looking for the, the next generation of coders, designers, and data scientists, uh, and even more positions. So please attach your email if you, or your resume if you can. Um, and if you haven't submitted your resume yet to that form, don't worry, you can update it on our website later. Um, so our sponsors have allowed us to try out a brand new membership system this year. And this membership system now is 100% free. You don't have to pay to be a ACM member. Um, all you have to do is go to that QR code that Janelle mentioned, so up here on the slide, or you can go to the URL that's also listed here, or go to our website, www.acmutsa.org, 
and go to the top corner uh, of, under the resource tab and then hit register. Once you filled out the registration form, you're one step closer to being a official member. Um, now all you need to do is attend just 20% of our meetings this fall semester, and you'll earn uh, a number of different things, including swag, such as our uh, limited fall uh, t-shirt that will unveil in a future meeting, uh, along with some other giveaway items uh, in our meetings that I'll get to uh, shortly. And you'll also receive an invitation to our spring celebration and networking event where you can meet and network with uh, industry professionals and kind of get your name out there, uh, along with just having a fun time. I mean, who doesn't like free food and a nice venue? Um, now getting to back to those giveaway items uh, that I mentioned earlier, our top ticket prize is always our end of semester raffle item. Um, so to kind of give you a little bit of a, a sneak peek of what it could be, um, the PC that Janelle mentioned earlier, that is our most recent prize that we raffled off in the spring that one lucky uh, member was able to receive. Um, you also have an opportunity to win a number of different prizes uh, just by attending our meetings and checking in. So uh, please, for every single meeting you go to, check in and go to as many as you can because every time you check in, that's a better chance that you'll get your name pulled for that raffle item. Um, some of the prizes that we'll give away in our meetings uh, will be uh, just some ACM swag like stickers. Um, we'll also be giving away Steam keys to maybe your next favorite video game. Uh, we'll also be giving away uh, comfies. And I mean, who doesn't want to be comfy in a blanket that you can wear anywhere? <laughs> so be sure to come to as many meetings as possible and don't forget to check in. This includes meetings with our fellow suborganizations. Uh, because UTSA is kind of the center giant organization in a web of other suborganizations. Um, all these different suborganizations specialize in different uh, parts of tech and they uh, target, they kind of put themselves out there to certain audiences um, that they'll get into very shortly. Uh, the ACM family seeks to welcome everyone that is even a tad bit interested in the field of tech and to kick off the ACM family suborganizations introduction. I'll throw it on over to uh, Joshua Lasado, uh, the ACMW president and well uh, to present ACMW. Thank you, Elijah, for that great presentation. Good afternoon, y'all. My name is Joshua Lasado, and I'm your ACMW director. For, first of all, welcome to our team that is composed of Natalie, Mira, Elizabeth, and Izzy. We're your 2021 to 2022 officers, and we're very excited to be serving this wonderful community. If you would like to say hi to our officers, feel free to DM the chat. But now I'm going to talk a little bit about our organization and what we do. ACMW stands for the Association for Computing and Machinery Women's Chapter. This chapter was created to be the women's chapter of ACM in an effort to point a spotlight on one of the gender minority groups. However, we recognize that our name is not a requirement for entry, but as a focus of empowerment from where the creation of this chapter stemmed from. We're inclusive to any and all genders. Our main focus surrounds on creating open opportunities for marginalized groups to gain experience, network, socialize, learn, and grow outside of the classroom in all fields of tech and computing. I understand that while I am a male, I may not have experienced the adversities many of you have or are, are overcoming, but as a minority, as a first generation student, I do have my fair share of experiences. My goal for this year is to provide opportunities to women and minority students at UTSA, whether or not they come from a computer science background to build up their CS skills while also catering to the majority of the CS community by having meetings revolving around the four concentrations of CS at UTSA. In previous years, courtesy of last year's cohort, we've had amazing companies and corporations come speak to ACMW. Last year, we had Google come and talk about the importance of clean code and even gave a workshop on how to improve those skills. We've also had the National Security Agency, the NSA, give a talk about data science and its importance in their field. AT&T has also been among the companies who came to talk about data science and cybersecurity and its importance for their company and clients. These are just a few of the companies who have come spoken to our organization and community. And however, while we do focus on connecting students with companies, we've also had fun socials such as Women Trivia Night and Game Nights to connect and interact with other members within our community. If you would like to be a part of this amazing team, you can become a junior, junior officer by scanning the QR code. As a junior officer, you will shadow our officers and get hands-on experience behind the scenes to help our organization grow. 
ACMW is an amazing group to join if you're wanting to make new friends, just starting to get into technology, or are trying to understand the possible outcomes with your career in tech. At ACMW, we want to provide an inclusive environment along with opportunities for anyone and everyone who's interested in learning about computer science, no matter your background. A great example of this is next week's meeting on August 9th at 3 p.m. CST, where we will have a graduate student from Stanford School of Medicine come and speak to us about bioinformatics and their research life in academia. Whether you're only a computer science, only um, a biologist, or only a statistician, or you're just interested in science, come learn how your major can contribute to the growing field of computational health. Maybe you could even become a bioinformatician. For more information, keep a lookout on our ACM Discord. I'll be dropping the link momentarily. And also follow us on social media. In our social media, we will provide scholarships and internship opportunities you may not know of, along with other future events. If you have any questions, feel free to DM the chat, but thank you all for your time, and I will hand it over to the Rowdy Creators president, Joshua Lee. <laughs> thank you, Joshua. I present to you guys, Rowdy Creators. Um, although you might remember we were a startup focus organization, we have gone back to our roots. We have now focused on becoming a project-based organization, bringing students with fun, interactive projects that will look good on resumes. The Rowdy Creators Board consists of me, Joshua Lee, the Chief Executive Officer, JD Wilson as our Media Coordinator, Finn as our Chief Operations Officer, Alex Bush as our Public Relations Officer, and last but not least, Alex Smith as our Chief Technical Officer. There is a QR code to the top right that points to our link tree. Our primary method of communication right now is Discord. And feel free to message one of our officers if there is any questions you might have. Now let's get on to the projects. So these are the current projects we are having to have our students work on this semester. The drone project is a challenge focused project where students will learn to program and operate a drone. These students will be given challenges one after another and it's up to the team to try and complete these challenges. Some of these challenges include flying through a hoop autonomously and also following people. The next project we have is our VR game development project, which we are using to bring students into the field of game development. Students will learn how to use a game engine to develop a virtual reality game. Although there's a lot of coding when it comes to making a game, there are other things to take into account like music making, art, and models. Students will learn how to do these things and in the end, publish a fully finished game at the completion of this project. You also primarily using the Unity game engine because of its simplicity. Last but not least, we have our steganography project. Steganography is the practice of hiding information behind something that would seem innocent, just like hiding your social security number behind an image of a puppy. Although this might be dumb. Hackers have used steganography in the past as a method of communication, like hiding secret messages behind an image file and sending it over. This project aims to teach students to teach more about the cyber field and prepare them for the steganography course offered here at UTSA. The future workshops we are currently wanting to work on is game development to go along with our VR project, intro to microcontrollers to teach people how to use Raspberry Pis and Arduinos, computer vision, and machine learning. So I hope you guys will look forward to these workshops. Our organization is following UTSA and having our first meeting after the three-week online period. Our first general meeting is on September 15th at 6 p.m. and it will be recorded, streamed on Discord, and in person at the Student Union 2.02 Ratama Movie Theater during this meeting, we will have a rerun of our slides, break the ice activities, and you also meet people who will be willing to work on the same project as you. Thank you very much, and I'll pass it off to Ruben from ICPC. Thanks, Joshua. Hello there. I'm Ruben Andrade. I'm this year's ICPC director. ICPC stands for the International Collegiate Programming Contest. ICPC is an international organization that hosts competitions every year at a regional, national, international level. I am proud to say that last year's UTSA ICPC teams advanced past regionals and won accolades on a national level. So next slide. What do we do at ACM ICPC? Well, every Saturday from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m., we practice programming co problems. These involve algorithms, math concepts, and critical thinking. 
in these meetings, we discuss these problems and we tackle them together. Uh, you might find, um, I know a couple of you do code forces, hacker rain, leak code, and caddis, and you'll find those problems very similar to those. We welcome all skill levels at ICPC. The main languages you know, people use in the competitions are Java, Python, and C. But each language, even the ones not listed, come with their own advantages. So don't worry about being disadvantaged or hampered by the language you know. There will be resources and mentoring for these as well. Don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions. Now we'll transition to the last slide with meeting information and links. Now, I'll give a chance for everyone to write down these um, links and, you know, the little tiny URL link is to our Discord channel. You know, we have a sub-organization channel, you know, make sure you send it to your friends, make sure you write it down. So while you do that, I'll, uh, I'll ask the important question, why should you join ICPC? Well, one of the big things that, um, the you know, internships and jobs look for are technical interviews, right? There's technical interviews for pretty much every application process, even computer adjacent fields, computer science adjacent fields like data management, engineering, and others. I have written some t technical interview problems for a project manager, and you would not believe how many people filtered out, including some applicants from here, UTSA, and they were computer scientists too. If they attended, if they had attended some ICPC meetings, they would have made it past the screening process. Going to ICPC, ICPC meetings will give you the skill and confidence to apply to internships and jobs. The second reason for the competition, it is UTSA's ICPC club. So naturally we send teams to the ICPC competition. Although it is not a requirement, it is a very fun experience to travel to compete with your peers and friends. The competition will also be held here at UTSA. So don't worry about any travel expenses. And lastly, you can network and socialize. We have Doc Rob and Dr. Charette at our meetings who guide us through more difficult problems. We have some social pl socials planned in a local in-house competition. Now, hopefully everyone has got those links down. So where and when will these meetings be held? Our first meeting will be held this Saturday, September 4th on Discord from 10 a.m. to one. Our other first meeting, part two, will be held next Saturday, September 11th on Discord from 10 a.m. to one. For the time being, our meetings will be held on Discord. Once we begin per in class in person, however, we will likely transition to hybrid meetings, obviously subject to change. These will be in person and online. More details about these hybrid meetings will be announced on our Discord. I look forward to seeing you on Saturday. Now, I didn't tell you this, but I heard that Doc Rob has a special question lined up for us to solve. Feel free to hop in and stay for whatever quantity of time you can. If you have any questions, I will be in the ACM Discord channel. My email is also listed right there, ICPC director at acm.ed.org. I will now hand it off to Alex, who will talk about Intro to Tech. Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Alex. Uh, I'm the Projects Officer for ACM this year. Um, so uh, primarily, um, I'm, I'm going to be handling the Intro to Tech um, events uh, during the year, but uh, really what these are, um, they're, they're workshops meant to introduce, uh, meant to introduce those who are uh, new or experienced um, to the, you know, world of technology. And although, um, you know, we'll, we'll have about, say, five meetings a, a semester, um, the idea is that um, we kind of show, you know, we kind of, in, you know, slowly um, introduce a tech technological concepts to those who are interested. And uh, although these are primarily, um, you know, CS workshops or programming workshops, they're not exclusively that. Uh, we, we've done a, we uh, a workshop, or at least a, a guide on how to build a PC uh, in last year. Um, and hopefully we, we can have um, a, a, more of those in the future. Um, and like I said, although, you know, the audience is mostly beginners, more are welcome to join. Um, and ideally, the plan is um, during the year, I, I, um, the intro to text will get slightly harder, so, or I should say, we'll gently increase the difficulty. So, you know, it, we keep veterans uh, who are interested, you know, they, they'll still retain that interest. Um, and it's mostly the plan. So I, I'll probably cover concepts, or it'll try to cover concepts like computer graphics or something that will interest niche audiences. Um, next slide, please. 
Um, so the format, um, we plan to have these every other uh, week, um, uh, Mondays at uh, 2 p.m. Um, so the meetings are hybrid. I mean, you can either attend online or in person. Um, details about these will be released um, within the coming weeks. Um, so stay, stay tuned for that. Uh, next slide, please. Um, so just to kind of wrap up, uh, here's a couple of examples that we've done in the past. Um, we've done workshops like, uh, you know, introduction to computer vision using open yeah. development or, uh, um, you know, using Kotlin for Android app development and uh, an introduction to GitHub. Um, so I hope to, with, with that, that be I will now hand it off to Finn, uh, who will talk about bits and bytes. Hi guys, I'm Finn, and I'm super excited to be your Bits and Bytes officer for this school year. Uh, next, just what is uh, Bits and Bytes? Bits and Bytes is, is an ACM suborg that focuses on peer mentoring between upperclassmen and peer mentors and new students as mentees. Uh, the new students can be freshmen, transfers, or just new students on campus, so feel free to reach out if you aren't just a freshman. There's three main things that the peer mentoring program tries to focus on. First and foremost, we want to give you a support network. College is a new and challenging environment, uh, and it really helps to have a network of people that you can talk about uh, your experiences, your struggles, and your solutions with. Additionally, you're also gonna have access uh, to those peer mentors who were in the same situation that you were in just a couple of years ago. So they'll have lots of tips and tricks to make sure that your freshman year in computer science goes as smooth as possible. Second, we're also gonna prepare you uh, for your academic computer science career. College is also really challenging academically, and we want to make sure that you have a personal toolkit to succeed both in your first year and for the rest of your college experience. You'll, you'll get general advice that will apply to most of your coursework for the next four years, uh, like useful programming languages to know for different classes, study tips, and course recommendations based on interests, and more. Uh, whether it's the mentees or the mentors who are in the same course you're taking or who have already completed it, there's also lots of great advice that you can get for uh, courses as well. And you're more than welcome to create study groups with your peers. Lastly, we also want to make sure that you have access to resources and know what you need to do to land that dream internship or that dream job. It's really daunting to know what you should be doing to achieve your goals, but having a network of people with similar interests and goals enables you to share advice, tips, resources, extracurriculars, and opportunities that can be really helpful for both you and your peers. It's also really nice to, to, to have access to people in similar situations with similar goals, as you'll be able to help motivate your peers, make sure you're staying on track, and potentially even work together in projects or certifications. Next, what is the program structure? The program's going to be structured in groups of eight mentees called bytes, with two mentors overseeing each byte. For the meetings, there's going to be two main types of meetings. First, there's going to be the weekly group meetings. These are really the bread and butter of the program. And this is where any student discussions, team building activities, presentations, or speakers will happen, depending on what's going on that week. There will also be monthly individual meetings. These are just a super quick way to make sure that the mentees and the mentors are on the same page. The program will be online, although there may be in-person activities for the end of the semester or the end of the year if COVID allows. If you're interested in this program, either as a mentee or a mentor, feel free to reach out to me, and thank you so much for being interested. Thank you, and now let's hear about Rowdy Hacks from Ronnie. There we go. Hi, Finn. Thanks so much. Loved hearing about everything so far. Um, howdy from Rowdy Hacks. My name is Ronnie, and I'm really excited to be the director this year. Um, but what is Rowdy Hacks? Um, it's a hackathon, but like, what is a hackathon? Um, so it's a combination of the word hack, as in like hacking something together, and marathon. So it's a whole 24 hour event, usually over a weekend, and it's filled with things like coding, learning, collaborating, and it is for everyone, all backgrounds, all majors, all accessibility levels, like y'all means all, everyone. Uh, next slide. Cool. Um, and because we want everyone to come and learn and just like make cool stuff, we've got plenty of workshops for y'all. Like no matter what your skill level is, if you've never touched code before, we're going to help you write your first Hello World program. And if you're a seasoned coder, we're definitely going to have more advanced workshops for you guys too. We'll also have mentors to help you out with your projects, right? Like so they might help you debug some code or suggest some hardware for your project or even just help brainstorm ideas um, with you and your team so that you can make 
really awesome stuff that weekend. Um, and on the other side of that, right, like we've got our competition tracks. So you've spent this whole weekend building a project. Um, and at the end, you can submit that project for different judging categories and compete for these team prizes. So we've got like our learners track um, for people who are just starting out. We've got our general track, which is kind of like anything goes. Um, and we've also got some other prizes like best hardware hack or best UX um, design. And um, just kind of like a little bit for everybody. Um, and also submitting a project is not required for attending our event. Our event does really wanna emphasize like the learning and collaborating aspects. Um, you know, just like making stuff for the sake of making stuff. Um, we, you know, we don't want this to be a super heavy, serious, like stressful weekend for you guys. We want you guys to have fun. Um, but we do also wanna see all of your really cool projects and maybe also you wanna see everybody else's projects, right? At the big, um, walk through at the end of the event so show off your projects at the end you know try to win some dope prizes and i very much look forward to all of those project submissions um don't worry though that's not the only time that you guys will have a chance to win prizes throughout the weekend we've got tons of socials and side events for y'all when you kind of just like need a brain break like i don't think i could do anything for 24 hours straight um, and so we'll also be giving away prizes and doing raffles uh, for those things too and then can't forget the most important part everything is free free food free event swag free admission like we really 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 want this to be as accessible as possible for everyone so if you are interested in anything regarding rowdy hacks go ahead and follow our socials um and also hop onto the uh the acm discord we're definitely going to be shouting out tons of announcements and prizes and workshops as they start um coming out in the spring rowdy hacks is usually like end of march beginning of april so i look forward to seeing you guys there uh next slide yeah cool um so a lot goes into putting on this event and it really wouldn't be possible without our wonderful organizers. I'm super excited for our team so far. Um, I would also love to see it grow some more. And there's a ton of different teams that you can join. Um, logistics is mostly like running the event, um, helping with the venue and catering. Tech is mostly handling our website or streaming or anything tech related. Hacker experience peeps are gonna be responsible for y'all just like having a good time at the event, like social side events, prizes, and also any accommodations that you all might need. Outreach is focused on marketing the event, collaborating with other campuses and other student orgs. Uh, we're also looking for people interested in social media and content creation and design. So if you've got any experience with like Canva, InDesign, Photoshop, that sort of thing. Um, and then lastly, our public relations uh, team is mainly communicating with our sponsors and helping onboard them. And also our ACMPR chair, Trey, who is currently tabling right now, go check him out at the involvement fair. Um, so that's just a quick rundown of like all the teams. And if any of that sounded interesting to you, you want to help out, but you don't really like, know what team to join, come say hi. We will find something for you. We will teach you how to do these things because none of us ever like organized a hackathon until we organize a hackathon, kind of like just got to jump in and do it. Uh, so don't be intimidated or nervous. Uh, come say hi, ask questions. We'll figure it out together. Um, I don't think this slide updated all the way, um, but that is our email. <laughs> Our email is team at rowdyhacks.org, or you can find us on the ACM Discord. There should be a Rowdy Hacks channel that you can come and ask questions, or you can find me. Uh, I'm at Ronnie on the ACM Discord as well. All right. Last thing before I hand you guys over to Code Quantum, uh, we do have another new event for you guys this year. The ACM has teamed up with the NSA to bring y'all UTSA's first datathon. But what is a datathon? So it's basically like a hackathon. It's just very um, like data science focused. And we're still going to have you know, mentors and workshops. Um, and the NSA is going to be providing the problem sets for you guys to work on during that weekend. And all skill levels are welcome. So come, learn, hang out. That's also going to be in the spring, probably around February time. Um, go ahead and follow our socials. They're kind of they're kind of a little bare bones right now. We're just getting set up, um, but we are definitely going to be sending out plenty of announcements as we get closer to February. Um, and thanks so much for coming out, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and hand you off to our Code Quantum organizers. Thanks for the quick intro into what Hackathon is, Ronnie. We can go ahead and start talking about ACMW's own Hackathon. So if you guys don't know already, Code Quantum is UTSA's first marginalized gender focused hackathon and we are so excited to put this event. Um, this will be a 24 hours virtual hackathon full of mini events and workshops. There will be plenty of swag and prizes for you guys and opportunities to talk to our sponsors. 
Yeah, and the best part of it is, is that you don't have to be a coding wizard. Beginners are welcomed and encouraged to join. Those who do have coding experience can also participate and hack together to create amazing projects. So registration is already open. Here is a QR code that you will uh, you can take a picture of and it'll take to you take you to our website to fill out the registration form and you can sign up as a hacker or as a mentor and we'll send out emails later to confirm your attendance. So we hope to see you there. We're super excited for this. Um, thanks for listening. And if you have any questions, feel free to stick around and chat with us or send us a direct message on Twitter or Instagram. We'll be happy to answer them. And I'll give you guys a few more seconds to take a screenshot, scan the QR code, and then I'll bring it over to Zach to close it out. Hi, y'all. Thank you, Tiffany, for introducing me um, to make sure everybody can hear me. But I am excited that y'all have attended our meeting today. Um, this is basically the, our holistic view of like everything that ACM is going to be offering this semester. And I'd like to take a quick note here to shout out some of our upcoming events that are already kicking off this weekend. We have uh, ICPC starting off um, this Saturday from 10 to 1. Um, go check them out. It's going to be fun. Ruben talked a lot of great work about this. Excited for this to keep going. And then we also have ACM uh, W's first meeting kicking off at zoom.w.acm2say.org starting at 3 p.m. on September 9th. Uh, come take a you know a little deep dive in the life of a bioinformatic and um, see what the team's got to offer. Yeah, and next slide, finish it out. And again, thanks for coming, everybody. Um, I'm super excited to be a part of this organization, and I'm glad y'all got to come um, check us out. Uh, we are going to be hosting a Discord chat room right after this. Uh, so as soon as this closes down, um, head on over to Discord and uh, check us out if you have any more questions for like a small Q&A session. Um, we will also be doing a small giveaway. Uh, it's a little, little, little teaser right there. So come check us out, even if you might have, just be curious, maybe you don't have a question, but somebody else might ask it for you. Um, um, last notes too, membership is free. Apply for it. You just have to attend that small 20% of meetings and uh, that QR codes are here on the screen. Um, come say hi to us officers over at the Discord. Um, again, I'm going to leave it off and just say thanks for coming, everybody. Um, glad to get the year started.